National Guard members from New York are expected to arrive on Friday. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello says they'll be here primarily for support. Isabel Garcia is tracking the latest developments in this story and joins us now in the studio. Isabel, what did you learn today? Yes, good evening to you, Teresa. County Executive Adam Bello requested the National Guard on Monday, this following suit, as Erie County had the same request over this past weekend. This after two separate incidents of alleged sexual assault by asylees occurred in recent weeks in Buffalo. Now, this all comes as the direction of the program being run out of New York City remains unclear. What we did is chose to do the responsible thing by continuing to ask for additional support. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello is addressing the state's answer to his request to bring in the National Guard to help in the Upstate Asylum Seeker program. Bello notes nothing of issue has happened locally where migrants are staying at the Holiday Inn, also highlighting his springtime executive order requiring a housing plan. In that order, Bello says it also required New York City to submit a plan the county could oversee. While Bello says things have gone smoothly in Monroe County. Community leaders we talked with this week who were on site as migrant families were arriving describe individuals as being scared, confused, unaware where they were taken, and some just told to get on a bus. So the one thing I do want to be clear, this isn't a police force that's coming to be at the hotel. Uh, the mission uh, that the of the National Guard, as the, as the governor's uh, uh, office have described to me, is going to be primarily logistical, operational support, which I think will help with the whole overall security picture of, of the uh, of the hotel. Covering what he calls gaps in any services promised by New York City, things like distributing food, hygiene supplies, other supports. This week, the county says several of the asylum seeking families have returned to New York City. There are now just over 40 individuals in our care. Nothing has changed since last week. Those plans are still in place. Those contracts are still being overseen. And so far, we have not seen in Monroe County uh, the disorganization and sometimes chaos that we've seen in other communities across the state and across the country. And the county executive also says that as part of the request for the National Guard, he also asked for additional support for health services from the state. New York will be helping to fund any additional screenings if it's determined they're needed. New York will also be sending additional legal aid for processing asylum applications. For now, reporting in the studio, I'm Isabel Garcia. Teresa, right back to you.